is Shar Salasi, serving families now through justice, wisdom, and truth for more than 12 years now. And today, I just want to kind of bring us back full circle to the concept of evidence. Evidence in our lives come from our belief system, our thinking. The things we think create the evidence in our life. So, what do you mean when you say that, Shar? We all have arguments. Arguments in our minds about ourselves, about people, about the circumstances and things that happen to us. And so when life happens, the thing that we think is producing that evidence in our lives. The way we're interpreting the circumstances around us, our interactions with people, the conflict in our own families are happening as a mirror to us, right? For us to face the thing that we're thinking about, the argument that's in my mind. So if my argument is that in order for me to be a good mother and a good wife, I have to give and give and give to everybody all the time. I have to sacrifice myself because that is the way that I get value as a woman. Then the evidence of my life is going to be that people are always taking and taking and taking and taking. You see what I mean? So one of the key things that we have to do, we have to begin to confront those belief systems. We have to be, begin to confront the arguments that we have in our own mind. And we all have them. Limiting beliefs that continue to create evidence of things we don't want. So when I say, I don't want that anymore, that belief system becomes an argument. And then what? My decisions have to begin to line up with the thing that I'm saying I believe, with the thing that I am replacing that limiting belief with. So, you know, I'm worthy of mutually beneficial relationships. I'm not the only one in my relationships that has the ability to give. I can receive love just as I can give love. And that creates a mutual benefit in my relationships, right? That becomes an argument or a value system or a thought process that's rooted in the truth that I'm not here to be everybody's sacrifice. I'm not. And too many of us believe that way and many other beliefs that we have. So I want to encourage you today to begin to take a look at the evidence of your life. What is it telling you about the way you're thinking? And how can you replace those arguments with the truth? This is Shar Selassie. We are, we've been loving our families for more than 12 years now in wisdom, justice, and truth. And we love your future for healing. Oh, oh, oh.